Hey, Jerry, I bet you got a ducky war story behind that lighter. Yeah, sure, I got stories. That's Emma Stone, especially glamorous in the new movie, The Gangster Squad, which opened this weekend, came in third at the weekend box office. Well, makeup artist Deepa Barrar is here with tips for your own 80s, or for... 40s glam look, not 40s. 80s glam look. We did that before. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because it's such a very different look. Oh, very much so. And it's like a very intense red lip with lashes and liner. It's a very glam look. So um, what we're going to start with is we're doing lashes. Now, the look uh, from that era is a very nice sort of fringed lash. So what you can do, because a lot of people have troubles doing lashes on themselves. Mm -hmm. So you can always start with a half lash. So instead of a full strip of lashes, use a half lash or grab a full strip of lashes and just cut them in half. Cut them? And yeah. you want them at the outer corner. At of the, the outer eye, right? corner. So you just sort of la line up the last lash with your own last lash. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and put it on her. And the, the key now for um, applying lashes is that when you put the glue on, what you want to do first is make sure that the glue is nice and tacky so that it sticks. Right. And so you put the glue on actually about three minutes ago just so it would yeah. become kind of tacky instead of just putting the glue on and then gluing them to your eyes. Yeah, so basically um, you give it about like a minute to dry. So once you put the glue on, um, you give it a minute to dry. It gets nice and tacky and then it's so much easier to put on because a lot of times you'll find that the lashes will sort of slip and slide all over the place. If, if the glue is if too wet If the glue wet, is then. too wet oh, okay. and then, oh, you just end up getting really frustrated with it. Um, and uh, also, too, when you let the, uh, the glue dry a little bit, it dries to semi-clear. Okay. Yeah, because when it starts out, it's black. And then what you want to do is you want to grab your liner and just sort of draw it along the lash line. And uh, that is going to basically camouflage any of the, the residue of the glue left. So you're going to do this with any look that where you put false eyelashes on, not, ne not necessarily the 40s glam look. Yeah, okay. but the 40s glam look is a nice sort of thick liner. Um, it's not as, um, basically, it's not as winged out as the, it gets in the 50s. Like if you remember like sort of the Marilyn Monroe look. Right. That's a lot more winged out. So in the 40s, it's a little bit, just a, a thicker line along the lash line, um, but not as winged out. So that just sort of gives a nice sort of heavy eye. And I noticed the shadow, you've kept it very, very neutral. It almost looks like she doesn't have a lot of shadow on at all. Yeah. Yeah, basically, yeah. So it was more of like kind of like a, a frosty sort of white, pale frosty look on the eyes and then the liner. Mm -hmm. And, the and nothing, nothing down below on the lower lashes. Uh, no, you can put a little bit of mascara, but it's more of a top heavy sort of look. Wow, they make yeah. her lashes look amazing. It just totally makes yeah. her eyes pop. And you I don't really have to add any mascara onto that, or can you? You Well, basically what I do is I'll put the mascara on first and then do the lashes. Okay, because any tips if you've never put on lashes before by well, yourself? I'm, I'm terrified to do it because I'm like, ah. Because I wear contacts too, right? And I'm like, yeah. well, I get glue, uh, the glue in my contacts. Oh, I've had that happen where all you see is just white. It looks like you're not even... <laughs> <laughs> like, where's, where's your pupil? But no, um, so basically the key is to make sure you put the mascara on first because then it gives a heavier sort of resting place for your lashes to go on. Oh, okay. And to let the glue dry, like I said, for about a minute before you actually put it on. You can also double layer the glue. If you find that the lashes are sort of falling off of you at the end of the night, um, just put on two coats of glue. Okay, and yeah. then how do you take it off? Uh, so what you want to do is you want to hold down the corner of your eye and then just peel it off. Okay. And um, if you find that it's sticking, just grab a, a Q-tip with some water in it and then just hold it to the place where it's stuck and then it'll loosen up and then it'll come right off. Excellent. Yeah. We've got don't... about a minute and a half left, so okay. I know you want to get to the so lips. So we're going to go to the lips, big... which is like a really important part of the look. So basically it's more of a burgundy lip. Um, when you get more towards the 50s is when it gets a little bit brighter. But back in that era, in the 40s, it was like definitely a deeper sort of um, burgundy toned lip color. Um, and it's just a really nice, like I find that a lot of people think, oh, well, you know, I can't really wear a red lip because it won't suit me or whatever. But I find that with pretty much any, anybody can wear a red lip. It just has to be the right tone for mm -hmm. you. And I find burgundy too, like it, it's good for my skin because I've got kind of a blue tinge to it. So yeah. it, it tends to kind of warm it up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, and, and even in the movie, if you see, like, she's got, like, her lip is a lot, uh, a lot deeper, which seems to be the trend. Even if you saw the Golden Globes last night, even on the red carpet, a lot of the reds that were being worn were a lot deeper, mm -hmm. which wasn't the case last year. Last year was a lot brighter. So this is beautiful. And then you'd use very, very little blush, right, if any? What? Very little blush, yeah. Just a, just a nice neutral color. Look at you. It's stunning. Not that you weren't pretty when you came in, but... <laughs>
<laughs> but yeah, it just, it, it suits her so well. And I find that especially like, for some reason, I really like um, red on blonde hair. And that's the one thing that most people that are blonde, they think that they can't wear the red lips. Right. But I mean, you can see it right here. It looks Beautiful. amazing on her. And to get more of these tips and all kinds of makeup tips, your website? Uh, www.deepabrar.com. Okay, Deepa, thanks so much for coming in to Thank our lovely you. model as well. We have more Morning Live coming up. And actually, speaking of Golden Globes Glamour, we've got more on that coming up as well.